Hey guys, it's Brad here. We're back in the wonderful world of Blight Town and Dark Souls. Um, we're gonna start off this video by doing a very uh, risky jump, I guess. I feel like we can make it, um, otherwise we die. All right, let's take off some stuff. All right. Pretty light. Let's do it. Nope. I mean, at least we survived, but... This isn't ideal. Oh boy. Please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. That was really risky. But I can't believe we survived that. That was uh, quite a miracle. My heart is kind of racing. That was kind of scary. Alright, let's throw on this stuff again. Alright, let's get this now. Hopefully no one's going to shoot at us. Blooming purple moss clump. I think that's what we like to see. Looks like the path ends, so let's just go back. Alright. Uh, that could have gone a lot worse. You know, we could actually be dead. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised we made that. Oh, and here's the bonfire. Ah, huh, well... Would you look at that? It's right here, all along. That's wonderful. And we are going to have to rest at it. Um, but first of all... You know, let's just rest. Alright, so last time, if you don't remember, um, I'll just do a quick little recap. Uh, we came down here and... We just kind of died a bunch of times. Um, it was pretty rough, but feeling confident today. I still have some souls floating around, and actually last time we picked up... Or just a second ago. Alright, so we have these uh, blooming moss clumps things. Uh, potentially medicinal moss clump with a flower. Reduces poison and toxin. Restore status. Toxin is a more vicious form of poison, which quickly leads to death. Moss clumps without a flower are useless against toxin. And a lack of these moss clumps could lead to an early demise. So that's very helpful. We had those useless ones that didn't do anything. But now we have this. Alright, so let's make our way down. And I did rest, right? Just to make sure. Yes, we did. Alright, All right, so let's continue going along. I don't know which way we want to go. I see treasure up there. I think there's a ladder up there. I think I see it. At least I thought I saw a ladder. Um, in that case, we can go this way. No, we can't. Oh, and we have that eagle shield. Only 95% physical. Great shield with an eagle design. Lightest and easiest great shield to handle. Great shields are very stable and deflect attacks, but one cannot parry and instead bashes with the shield. I actually like this boulder shield. Balder shield. Boulder, boulder. Anyways, this spider shield seems to be the ideal choice for this poison infested town. You can actually jump down there as well.
Do we want to jump down? I think that's a better question. I see treasure down there, so I think the answer to that is yes. Cross. The treasure is down there. Oh, and this thing's moving. Don't like that. Maybe we can just walk down to it. A humanity. Oh boy. Here's these things. And they breathe fire. And... fight them in here. All right, they've got really little HP. Come on, come on. So now I think we go across here. Oh my goodness. At least it doesn't break. I think that's good. <laughs> Is this actually... I think this is where we dropped. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like it. Oh boy. Okay, well, I think I see that path down there, actually. It does lead to over there. That's probably where we were before. Yeah, our souls are right there. Alright, we'll just lure them up. I think we don't need to go down there anyways. so difficult when they aren't fighting. Alright, we'll just take that and we'll be on our way. I may actually just go ahead and kindle this bonfire just so we have more Estes. Uh, it's a pretty dangerous place. Or not. Let's just continue. Whatever. Um, I guess we go this way. We have more dogs and that guy. The dogs aren't too bad. Oh my goodness. Should have seen that coming. And I think someone is behind us.
Actually, I feel like we came down here that one time. We just kind of skipped the bonfire, though. Yeah, because we came over here, but we didn't even think of walking that way. Oh well. I guess... You learn as you go. Alright, so we'll go across this path. And we were over here as well. So that means we just have to go down now. Towards that, like, slug-looking thing. Alright, someone's breaking some things. Oh, here you are. Oh, there's a ladder here. Oh, there's also you. Alright, let's wait for this guy to do something. It's kind of like, even though the enemy can do cheap things, we, too, can do many cheap things. Soul of a Lost Undead. And there's some treasure right here. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Oh, okay, here you are. Let me get some room. Yeah, parries are very effective on these guys. Um, the small guys being annoying. Okay, come on. More dung pies. Dung pies, dung pies, and just like dung pies all over the place. And this looks similar to the entrance that we came in from. Maybe it's just further down. I wonder if you can just drop down there. Maybe if you have more HP or something. Could be possible. There's more stuff down there. You can actually see some treasure. Um, okay. We're pretty close to the bonfire. I could jump down there to get that. Um, I don't know if we can survive the fall, though. That's kind of concerning. And we only have three Estus. All right, let's just do it. And I didn't mean to click that. We get a whip. All right, whip. It's really light. It scales well with decks. Leather whip. Not intended for battle. Virtually ineffective against armor and tough scales, but quite formidable against enemies with exposed skin. Maybe that'll be useful against these guys. Alright, so here we have to fall again. It's a lot of falling. I'm not particularly a fan of that. Here's a new enemy. Some flames.
flame stuff. It's like some weird, like, bug thing. Oh, and we're, like, almost at the bottom. Okay. Um, was there something over here? No, just... Alright, that's like a ramp. Or like a wall. Going down. Alright, there's two more down there. Or it's one, and one's on the bottom staircase. I guess we have to drop down. Alright, here's a ladder. And you can actually see the bottom from here. We're getting poisoned, aren't we? Uh, some guy over there is poisoning us. I actually see him right here. Maybe we'll use one of these. Alright. Actually, since it's just building up, we can use the other one. This one. purple moss clumps and what is this a wanderer hood and a falchion falchion oh there's some bug here there's a lot of bugs all over the place can't seem to hit him Okay, now let's check out that stuff. We have the Wanderer Hood. Hood of an aimless traveler. Made from sturdy leather, it offers protection versus wind and rain. Wanderer Hood. Pretty good overall, actually. Yeah, pretty good overall. And we have this Fal... John. Curved sword. 2.5 weight. Small curved sword. Each hit infi inflicts little damage, but fluid chain attacks are deadly. The Falcon's sharp slashing attacks are effective against cloth and flesh, but not against metal, armor, or tough scales. So it's kind of similar to the whip in um, how it damages. Not strong against armor. Oh, there's a lot of bugs over here. Uh, there's one right here beneath us. Oh, gosh. All right, we're alive. We're poisoned. Okay, so I do know that there is a bonfire here. So, and if you're wondering why I know that, um, I said it in my other videos, but just in case someone is just joining along, I have played Dark Souls before, but this is just me playing it the right way, as you can see. Alright, so we made it to this bonfire, and I'm gonna have to just cut it here. Get a little breather. We made it to the bottom, and, you know, really, that's a good job. So, see you guys next time.